Vajra Guru, Bhame Siddhu, Om Mahum 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 Vajra Guru, Bhame Siddhu. Good. Good. So, uh, you know, Patty's being uh, the chant leader, meaning master of ceremonies. <laughs> so I'm delighted to see everybody. I'm really glad that uh, uh, my Dharma friend and brother Geshe Damsha is here. It's really special. Um, Ishla, uh, like to say has uh two gompas to take care of <laughs> <laughs> so where do we start okay Teacher, poet of star, thus gone, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, run to bliss, know of the world, house of an ordinary beings to be shared. Supreme One, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, poet destroyer, glorious victorious one. Akimuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. Teacher, poet destroyer, thus gone, Truly and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, nor of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, foe destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. Teacher, foe destroyer, thus gone, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, Gone to bliss, know of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, foe destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. When you, chief of humans, were born, you took seven steps on this great earth, and you said, I am supreme in this world. To you, who were wise at that time, I prostrate. Completely pure body, supremely fine form, ocean of wisdom like a golden mountain, fame that blazes in the three worlds, supreme protector, to you I prostrate. Endowed with the supreme marks, a face like the stainless moon, a color like gold, to you I pay homage. The three worlds are not like you, who is free from dust. Nashless one, endowed with knowledge, to you I prostrate. Protector, endowed with great compassion, omniscient teacher, field of ocean like merits and good qualities, to the thus gone I prostrate. Through purity, full from attachment, through virtue, releases from the evil gone realms, unique, supreme, ultimate meaning, to the Dharma that brings peace I prostrate. From freedom, teaching the power, well abiding in the pure trees, holy field, endowed with good qualities, to the Sangha also I prostrate. Homage to the Supreme Buddha, homage to the Dharma Refuge, homage to the Great Sangha, to all three ever devout homage, to all worthy of respect, bowing with bodies as many as all realms, atoms, and all aspects, with supreme faith I pay homage. Do not commit any non-virtuous action. Accumulate virtue and goodness. Subdue your own mind. This is the teaching of the Buddha. Like a star, a mirage, a lamp, illusions, drops of dew, bubbles, dreams, lightning, and clouds. Look at all conditioned phenomena as such. 
due to this merit, having attained the state of the all seeing and thereby subduing the enemy of faults, may I liberate migrators from the ocean of existence, stirred by the waves of aging, sickness, and death. Queen of the hosts of Wisdom Dakinis of the Three Abodes, my only mother, Kanjo Yashi Sokyo, to you I pray, never leave me, but look on me with compassion. Grant your blessings so my mind and your wisdom may merge inseparably. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in time enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. By the positive potential I create by listening to the Dharma, may I attain Buddhahood in order to benefit all sentient beings. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the joyful happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from holding some close and others distant. Respectfully, I posture with my body, speech, and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering, actual and imagined. I confess all my negative actions accumulated since, since beginning, beginning this time. Joyce in the virtuous actions of all ordinary and noble beings. Please, Buddha, remain as our guide, and turn the world of Dharma until samsara ends. Through the merit created by myself and others, may the two bodhicittas ripen, and may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. This offering I make of a precious jewel mandala, together, together with, with other pure offerings and wealth, and the, the virtues we have collected throughout the three times with our body, speech, speech and mind, all my masters, my yadams, and the three precious jewels, I offer all to you with unwavering faith, accepting these out of your boundless compassion, please send forth waves of your blessings. Yadam Guru Ratna Mandala Kam Nayati Yami. Prayer to Machik Labdron. Ascertaining the natural state yeah. of threefold knowledge and practicing the key points of the four applications, one arrives perfectly at the ultimate fruition, Dharmakaya. Mother of the Buddhas of the three times, to you I pray. Profound basic space, Dharmakaya mother, beyond attachment. Manifest perfectly as the wisdom right. mudra of clear realization, whose display arises to disciples' perception in wrathful guise. Exalted Kurdakali, look upon me with compassion. 
a playful dance of emanation bringing benefit to beings who fulfill the aspirations of the great panditas of India and appear to Tibetans in female human form. Mother Lapki Joma, inspire me with your blessings. The heart of the perfection of Wisdom Sutra. I prostrate to the Arya Triple Gem. Thus did I hear at one time the Bhagavan was dwelling on Nasa Vulture's Mountain on Rajagriya together with a great community of monks and a great community of bodhisattvas. At that time, the Bhagavan was absorbed in the concentration and the categories of phenomena called profound perception. Also at that time, the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara looked upon the very practice of the profound perfection of wisdom and beheld those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Then, through the power of Buddha, the Venerable Shariputra said this to the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara, how should any son of the lineage train who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom? He said that, and the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara said this to the Venerable Shaivai Putra. Shai Putra, any son of the lineage or daughter of the lineage who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom should look upon it like this, correctly and repeatedly beholding those five aggregates also as empty in her nature. Form is empty. Emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, discrimination, compositional factors, and consciousness are empty. Shai Putra, likewise, all phenomena are emptiness, without characteristic, unproduced, unceased, stainless, not without stain, not deficient, not fulfilled. Shai Putra, therefore, in emptiness, there is no form, no feeling, no discrimination, no compositional factors, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no visual form, no sound, no odor, no taste, no object of touch, and no phenomenon. There is no eye element, and so on, and back to, and including, no mind element, no mental consciousness element. There is no ignorance, no extinction of ignorance, and so on, and up to, and including, no aging and death. And no extinction of aging and death. Similarly, there is no suffering, origination, cessation, and path. There is no exalted wisdom, no attainment, and also no non-attainment. Shariputra, therefore, because there is no attainment, bodhisattvas rely on and dwell in the perfection of wisdom, the mind without obscuration and without fear. Having completely passed beyond error, they reach the end point of nirvana. All the Buddhas who dwell in the three times also manifestly completely awaken to unsurpassable, perfect, complete enlightenment in reliance on the perfection of wisdom. Therefore, the mantra of the perfection of wisdom, the mantra of great knowledge, the unsurpassed mantra, the mantra equal to the unequaled, the mantra that thoroughly pacifies all suffering should be known as the truth since it is not false. The mantra of the perfection of wisdom is declared. Tayata, gati, gati, paragati, parasam gati, bodhisoha. Narita, gate, gate, paragate, parasam gate, bodhisoha. Shariputra, the bodhisattva and mahasattva should train in the profound perfection of wisdom like that. Then the Bhagavan arose from that concentration and commended the bodhisattva, mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara, saying, Well said, well said, son of the lineage. It is like that. It is like that. One should practice the profound perfection of wisdom, just as you've indicated. Even the Tathagatas rejoice. The Bhagavan having thus spoken, the Venerable Shaivari Putra, the Mahasattva Arya Avalokiteshvara, those surrounding in their entirety, along with the world of gods, humans, Asuras, and Gandharvas, were overjoyed and highly praised that spoken by the Bhagavan.
to fulfill the needs of all beings at their various levels of understanding, we request that you turn the wheel of Dharma, including the lesser, greater, common, and extraordinary approaches. So, uh, Mupashe, next we have um, on our schedule to recite together the foundation of all good qualities by Lama Sankapa. I have the text. It's okay, people can listen. Oh, so, <laughs> so friends, uh, we're having trouble with technology. We're, we're going back to um, when I was born, <laughs> before before we had these luxuries. So um, I, I will recite it and I uh, can listen along unless you know it. Oh, here, it's coming. Okay. The foundation of all, all good qualities. qualities is the, the kind the, and the, perfect pure girl. Correct devotion to him is, is the, the root of the path. path. By clearly it's seeing this and applying great effort, effort please yeah. bless me to rely upon him with great respect, yeah. understanding yeah. that the precious yeah. freedom yeah. of this yeah. rebirth yeah. is found only once, is it's greatly meaningful, meaningful, and is difficult, difficult to find again. Please bless me to generate the mind that unceasingly, day and night, takes its essence. This life is as impermanent as a water bubble. Remember how quickly it decays and death comes. After death, just like the shadow follows the body, the results of black and white karma follow. Finding firm and definite conviction of this, please bless me always to be careful to abandon even the slightest negativities and accomplish all virtuous deeds. Seeking some sorry pleasures is the door to all suffering, they are uncertain and cannot be relied upon. Recognizing these shortcomings, this blessing will generate the strongness with the bliss of liberation. Led by this pure thought, mindfulness, alertness, and great caution arise. The root of the teachings is keeping the Padimaksha vows. Please bless me to accomplish this essential practice, just as I have fallen into the sea of samsara, so have all mother migratory beings. Please bless me to see this, train in supreme bodhicitta, and bear the responsibility of freeing Probably migratory beings. Even if I develop only bodhicitta, but I don't practice the three types of morality, I will not achieve enlightenment. With my clear recognition of this, please bless me to practice the bodhisattva vows with great energy. Once I have pacified distractions to wrong objects and correctly analyzed the meaning of reality, Please bless me to generate quickly within my mind stream the unified path of calm abiding and special insight. Having become a pure vessel by training in the general path, please bless me to enter the holy gateway of the fortunate ones, the supreme Vajra vehicle. At that time, the basis of accomplishing the two attainments is keeping pure vows and samaya. As I have become firmly convinced of this, please bless me to protect these vows and pledges like my life. Then, having realized the importance of the two stages, the essence of the Vajrayana, by practicing with great energy, never giving up the four sessions, please bless me to realize the teachings of the Holy Guru. Like that, may the gurus who show the noble, noble path and the spiritual friends who practice it have long lives. Please bless me to pacify completely all outer, inner hindrances, and all my lives never separated from perfect gurus. May I enjoy the magnificent Dharma. By completing the qualities of the stages of past, may I quickly attain the state of Vajradhara. So, uh, Rinpoche, next, I was going to request that um, Geshla lead us in the mantra of Amitais. Yeah, good.
So um, we have an image of Amitayas for everyone to view while they do their meditation with Geshla leading us. Geshla, mm -hmm. could you please lead us in Amitayas uh, mantra? Mantra, right? Wrong, yeah. Thank you. Rama Rama Daya Yama. Oh, Mama Rama. Rati Ava Meta Ayojana Suve Shista Tataya Zoro Zaya Tata Rataya Arahati Sama Sam Buddhaya Taya Ta Om Buni Buni Maha Buni Ava Meta Buni Ayo Buni Maha Buni Ayojana Sarva Pura Siddhi Ayo jana kitze dum om dum wa dum sawa dum pa dum si dum om wa sarwa sam ka parishita dharma di ka gana samogati sawa vishote mahanaya parivaraye so ha. Om Amarane Tewande Yizho. 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 Om Amarane Jawande Yisho. 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 Oh, I'm a one day one day so. Oh, I'm a 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 one day so. I'm a one day so. Oh, 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 I'm a one day so. 
ओ अमर रहने जवान थे इसो 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 So, um, Geshla, would you have a few words to share about Rinpoche for his I think we're following a very strict schedule here, Geshla. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to today's Lamala's birthday celebrate coming to thank you very much. <laughs> today's music and very sounds and good. Thank you. As uh, maximize and sounds very nice. Uh -huh, that's true. Yeah. And our in Lanzo Stamat Center, all Yes, Lama Lama's birthday celebrate is all the students' request to Lama. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, actually, in uh, our in traditional and Lamas and gurus and teachers and whoever in in long life uh, or requesting very good. Uh, uh, requesting a long time stay in teaching very good and health we are the students and or oh, praying and traditional and actually and students in very good study and very good friendly or oh, very uh, nice to the gentle and lama and whoever and happy and then very health very health long life and Dalai Lama say, you are Tibetan people is very nice and uh, and friendly and good. I am staying for a very long time. You are no is staying uh, in the world. I am no city. This is the same, right? <laughs> now around uh, the traditional and you know, students and whoever is and very good, nice. Now also we are not you, only practice, right? Very good, friendly. And all time in coming and very nice place and coming 
very peaceful, very nice. And we are head and Ramallah head. It's very good. And now Ramallah is in 71 and celebrated. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and his father is now 90. Oh, I'm still good. Yeah. The last yesterday is his holiness and uh, birthday, and his holiness message to the New York and all people. Mm. It's very good, very nice and good. Now it's in his holiness ninety. Uh, Lama is in same two hundred years old, and more and more is pleased to stay in us. Thank you, Lama. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> So at this place, uh, Rinpoche, we request if you have a few words to say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone for being here, particularly on a uh, hot day. You know, so um, I, um, I like air conditioning. I have to, that's why, you know, it's like, some part of me goes, you know, I, I should be like totally okay being totally hot and sweating, you know, um, because um, I'm kind of used to that, you know, practicing um, in India, particularly, you have to sit and then um, like sweats running down your back. <laughs> and um, yeah, and, and it's, you know, the, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not going to get cooler, right? Like that. So I think uh, the biggest, one of the biggest things uh, um, that's learned through monastic training is um, uh, really complete acceptance like that. Um, I'm happy to have like air conditioning and cars that run and, um, uh, and the body that's still alive, but um, the real life is like, you know, I think complete acceptance, you know, like, um, like I should have said, very gentle. So <clears throat> when, uh, of course, we're doing foundation of all good qualities, thinking uh, strongly of Lama Tsongkhapa and my teachers. So I always visualize Lama Tsongkhapa as um, um, being so incredibly kind um, that, that people, um, were just um, amazed, right? Um, of course, Lama Sakawa, you know, his emanation of Manjushri, very easy for him to quote, um, memorize pages and speak directly. But um, uh, in our tradition, we believe scholarship uh, uh, promotes uh, gentleness, right? So um, when Sometimes you'll ask somebody, maybe Sarah J, like, oh, what about um, that? Uh, what about that monk or teacher? <laughs> and sometimes you'll hear that person's a really good scholar. That doesn't mean that they're just like super book learned. It means they're also very gentle, right? And, and um, completely approachable, like that. So, um, uh, it, it means somebody of like of good character, and definitely that comes about um, through our meditation and our sangha activities, um, but also does come about because of uh, regular scholarship. So, um, you know, thinking of uh, uh, Lama Tsongkhapa, uh, that incredible kindness and gentleness. Because usually we don't expect really powerful people and really smart people to be like unbelievably uh, warm and kind, you know? We, we expect they're going to be kind of um, imposing or difficult um, or something like that or super, super on top of stuff. And um, uh, I just think that. Uh, uh, when we're doing foundational good qualities or doing Amitayas, um, that that uh, combination of uh, power and uh, wisdom and gentleness go together, and that's what the, the Nixama, you know, embodies. And so um, when we're thinking of long life, uh, 
I think uh, we can think, you know, just of like, uh, you know, this deep kind of acceptance. And the deep acceptance is a little different than psychological acceptance um, or kind of begrudging acceptance. Uh, that uh, maybe Hinayana style has to do with, okay, I, uh, I, I, you know, kind of accept things, right? Using this kind of Yana approach, like, okay, I accept it. The skandhas are impermanent or something, uh, or I have to do this discipline, I accept it. And then in Mahayana, um, we could say, um, you know, like we're, uh, um, you know, emb embracing it even, you know, kind of acceptance from this, the sense of um, embracing. <clears throat> um, the Vajrayana actually um, style where we're kind of asking for it. <laughs> so just, you know, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, bring, bring it on, so to speak, a little bit like chip practice. So sometime, I don't know who's doing it now. There's a very important practice uh, called Gandhan Chu practice. So Song Rinpoche, uh, maybe Geshe has heard of Song Rinpoche. If there was any had long, the previous incarnation kind of long beard. He was known as being quite fierce, don't you think? Song Rinpoche, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, special Chu master. So, um, that's very Vajrayana practice of um, uh, not only accepting uh, like it is what it is, but also like, okay, I'm, I'm accepting what's coming too. So bring it on in. <clears throat> and then uh, uh, our Mahamudra practice, then um, acceptance is uh, choiceless. Well, so like that. Um, which is a very profound state, you know, to say um, not accepting, not rejecting, right? I'm a choiceless, right? So this this kind of acceptance during all the different styles, then I think um, people become an incredibly gentle. They might appear fierce on the outside, um, might um, sometimes have a strong uh, voice, uh, very strong. I, I think of Geshe Tashi sometimes, <laughs> <laughs> who you've met, other teachers, yeah. But uh, and there's uh, the real life is incredibly just, you know, peaceful, right? So sometimes we forget that uh, the four um, seals. We say the four seals in Dharma, all composite phenomena are impermanent, right? All, um, sometimes you paint it all, painted phenomena are suffering. Um, all phenomena, including the self are selfless. And what's, what's the last, what's the last seal? Nirvana is, Nirvana is peace. Nirvana is peace. So there's a profound sense of peacefulness with the, um, particularly with Dalai Lama, as we've been around, um, you've had even just, you know, chance meeting. It's like, you know, peacefulness like walks into the room. And um, I'm sure Lama Sankapa had that experience too. Like people thought, oh, um, we're feeling pretty peaceful. <laughs> and then when somebody's really at peace, no con no conflict, right? There's no conflict, there's no inner conflict going on. Then then it, it feels like a whole new energy is coming into the room. And then you realize that that, that energy is uh, um, the wisdom mind too, and it's deathless, right? So if we're doing our practice, uh, particularly unifying sutra and tantra, then we realize, oh, it's, not born, not dying, right? No choice. So uh, there's a profound sense of, uh, we just want that person to uh, live forever, but we know we're not thinking that their body has to live forever, that 
uh, that experience is uh, in, in our own way kind of like totally beyond birth and death, right? So the Buddha said a number of times, if it weren't, if it weren't for things that are unborn, we'd never escape samsara. <laughs> we'd be caught in birth and death. So the long life prayers are very profound, not like just samsaric life and, you know, to have the air conditioner work like that. So, although I like that, but uh, this uh, developing the blissful wisdom mind, realizing emptiness, right? So when we're doing different practices, uh, we, we have to remember, oh, this is a practice about relativity. Oh, this is a practice, you know, understanding the blissful wisdom that realizes emptiness. It, it can't be anything else. Don't think there's different practices. This one, this one's a different thing than that, right? So particularly with Lama Sankapa's vision, like all, all the practices come to one point, right? Like that. That makes sense, right? Then, then that's liberation, and then that's really like peace. Things have come to total peace, and then you realize, oh, that's living the life. It's interesting. So I wish you all to have that uh, peace today and uh, have uh, some uh, celebration of that peace coming on, right? So I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Patty uh, you know, be the only say here. What's next? Oh. <laughs> uh, so um, next is uh, a presentation of um, the Vajra Mantras with um, Dirk and Jen. Mm. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, do that again. Right. <laughs> uh, this is a certificate oh, uh, of what about the, the accumulation of the um, Bhadra Guru mantras that were done by the Sangha. She, um, okay. Yeah, totaling 455,440. Whoa, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's incredible. <clears throat> so um, next is <laughs> a, a poem by uh, Dirk is going to present a poem from from online. Happy birthday, Lama! Hi. Yeah, uh, I'll try not to be too unpeaceful here. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So my poem is called "Embodiment of All Buddhas." and uh, begins with a quotation from the Dijim Terser Nandaro. Uh, the embodiment of all Buddhas at the three times without exception. Most excellent root teacher, I pray to you. Gurave Nama, you are the mandala, reality's expanse. You are consciousness purity, reality aware, deep blue Samantabhadra. Unified with sensory purity, emptiness white, Samanta Badri. You are free from delusion, Buddha consciousness, Kunk Vairochana, entwined with pure space moon, Akasha Datvishvari. You are pure earth in the east, barrel Buddha Lokchana, enfolding mirrored form free from aversion. Ajur Akshobhya Vajrasattva. In the south, you are free from pride. Equanimous Ratnasambhava gold, holding crystal water of the jewel family. Minimum Mamaki, Minium Mamaki. You are flaming purity on the western horizon. Red fire Pandaravasini. Legs envelop the discerning lotus unencumbered, copper, amitabha. You are fully accomplished, free from envy, turquoise, amogasiti, in complete union with the stainless northern wind, sapphire, samanta, samayatara. With your retinue of clear senses and sense organs, male bodhisattvas, 
Avalokiteshvara, Vajrapani, Shiti Garba, Samanta Bhadra, and the rest. And bright forms of the eight objects of consciousness, female bodhisattvas, Lasya, Pushpa, Dupa, Gita, Aluka, Malya, Ganda, and Narti. Guarded by four true forms of birth and aspirations, the female gatekeepers, with eight classes of consciousness, the male gatekeepers. You are Buddhas of all the six realms, God, Indra Chakra, Ashura Vimachitra, human Shakyamuni, animal Stira Simha, Preta Jvalamukha, and demonic Yama Dharma Raja. Your transformed ignorance, dark brown Mahotara Hairuka, in violent embrace with dark blue Kodeshvadi, mental constructs of sense projections, and the other wrathful forms of all aspects of reality, not to be detailed for those not empowered by the four anointments. Your Manjushri, Chakala Chakra, Vishvamata, Vajra Varahi, Chakra Sambara, Vajra Yogini, Vajra Varahi, Troma Nagmo, Amitayus, Gyawa Jatso, Vajra Kumara, Purukule, Tara Vira, Green Tara, Hunkara Nadayana, Tara, who destroys Maras, who dispels sorrow, grants wishes, heals, magnetizes all 21 Taras, the thousand Buddhas of this fortunate eon, the Buddhas who came before them and those who will come after you. You are Maitreya, the friend of the world. We bow down to you and pray in this and future lives and in the bardo. Hold us with your compassion. Bless us ceaselessly throughout the three times. Om Ahum Vajra Guru Padma Siddhi Hum. Thank you, Dirk. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dirk. This is beyond words, truly. It's um, nice hearing Sanskrit pronounced correctly, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful. So, um, so the, uh, the next um, gift is from Komon, who has had car trouble and but uh he had a recording of his song and so um so i've sent it to the tech friends to play for you now yeah actually this uh today is actually cologne's actual birthday I know. <laughs> so, yeah car trouble i know it's like i know like that, that that's definitely like a uh, kind of a a chill practice when your car breaks down, isn't it? Definitely. In the oh, that's right. Shadows burst on the Beautiful to remember that is you. Remember the shape, remember the shape, remember the shape. Leave you alone. Leave you Again, 
Oh, sweet. Yeah, oh, no. Patriot card generator, 2000X. And so, uh, 18 inches wide and 11 inches high, and just words. 55 pounds. We would, we would appreciate that so very much. Well, I'd like to say it's not over. No, it's certainly not. <laughs> we're, 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 not. we're doing, uh, you know, we're doing uh, some celebration and some dancing and so forth. Um, so, <clears throat> um, now we, you know, we have secular Dharma, we call it, and I call it like sacred Dharma, lineage Dharma, <clears throat> secular Dharma, maybe Dharma of the times, sacred Dharma, like Dharma of all time. Um, but that, uh, for us doing, uh, particularly, um, highest yoga tantra practice, um, we more than anything, uh, uh affirm the continuity of mind, right? So, um, that's why, you know, I've required reading in the Buddha Dhamma program is the Gulama, uh, Maitreya, you know, so, uh, talking about. Uh, continuity. Tantra means continuity, right? So uh, every once in a while we have this uh, silly idea that when we die, it's all over. Because, you know, we're kind of secularists too, we have science, and uh, it's very difficult to, you know, even though we've heard many teachings about next lives and so forth, um, it's very difficult to think, oh, there's going to be continuity, right? Because we've heard so much that, okay, it's just the brain and it's going to die, right? So uh, particularly with long life, like we as uh, the highest yoga tantra people don't, we don't believe in extinction, right? There's like when Kenshin Ramche was here, he's saying, well, if you really want to practice Arya Deva's 400 verses, then you have to be practicing, you know, for uh, going forward, thinking about the forward life, right? So next seven lifetimes. So this is traditional, but in America, no, we like to say now. <laughs> we're practicing for the now. But actually, uh, when we're saying the next seven lifetimes, we're saying infinite lifetimes. There's, there's, there's not uh, a rupture. There's a change. We're practicing for the change, uh, the solution, you know, um, Maybe maybe sometime we can have Chandram Shay talk about Jay Samaja, like dissolution of the elements, dying process. That would be good. Because so many people are, you know, here involved with um hospice and chaplains and uh you know, Susan's continuing the chaplain program, training Daleks, aren't you? Yeah. So we 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 have to say, you know, it's like, okay, we're not believing in extinction. But then if we're working with others, then we have to have a wisdom mind. It's reasonable for normies then to ask us, well, there probably aren't any normies in here, so I'm safe. But, you know, then, okay, so as Buddhists, we don't believe in extinction. So what does continue? We have to be able to say something to that. We can't then say, well, I'm absolutely sure my teacher told me Padmasambhava told me, Lama Sakaba told me, Yesha told me. You know, uh, we have to then follow it up with, with some wisdom. So we owe people that, and we have to investigate our own mind stream and use the wonderful teachings. So if we say, okay, nothing, there's, there's not an ending, there's not extinction, there's not nihilism, but what what is it that continues? So we need to do, we owe that to others, right? They should be able to ask us that question, and we shouldn't just go, well, I don't know. You know, we, we need to say, say something, right? So we need to read the classics. We need to do our deep meditations, right? Because that was that was a big deal in India. So the Buddha said, no Atman. There's no Atman. Anatman. Zilch. So at the time, there were smart people doing yoga. And they'd say, well, that's all very good, 
will, but um, you know what what continues. So uh, as Dharma people who are involved in long life, we we have bodhisattva obligation to say no. There is this continuity, but it's not the continuity of independently existing self. It's a different kind of continuity, and uh, that that's sometimes difficult to explain, right? That's our job. So <laughs> we have to, we, we want, we can say that we're confident. Okay. And that, but maybe it's just initially a belief, then it become reality, but also we have to be able to explain like, yes, we, we have a continuity and uh, something goes on, but we'll do that. So I'll leave that for everyone here discover, to discover themselves, but um, particularly useful to uh, read the classics, don't you think? Okay. So uh, next on our, our, we're going to do a dedication, and then that will be followed by a caudal line. And then, and like Rinpoche said, we'll go into the dojo and, and spend time together and celebrate the birthday even more. So, so now for dedication. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel, Bodhicitta, that has not arisen, arise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish but increase more and more. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful Chanrezig, Tenzin Gyatso, please remain until samsara ends. May the teachings of the Buddha flourish, and may the upholders of the teachings remain forever. May all migrators achieve happiness, and may they fulfill all their temporary and ultimate goals. Low song, magical display of the deep awareness of all the victorious ones. Merciful giver of a stream of profound and vast instructions to the fortunate migrators. Please remain always imperishing, unchanging, unfading. Avalokiteshvara, great treasure of objectless compassion, Manjushu, master of flawless wisdom, Vajrapani, destroyer of the entire host of Maras, Sankapa, crown jewel of the snowy land sages, Losang Drapa, I make requests at your holy feet. So now we're going to. Geshe's first. Geshe's first. No, no, no. He's offering first. Yeah. I <laughs> vote. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I will stay, but I want you to stay too. <laughs> I don't want to do it without you. <laughs> oh, my. They're funny, yeah. Okay, please join us while we uh, in the Kata Lion chanting the uh, Mani Mantra. Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 
Om Mani Padme Hum 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 Omo Araya Pasaya Na Aindi Om Araya Pasaya Na Aindi Omo 